I take it you already know of tough and bow and cough and dough. Others may stumble, but not you, on hiccup, furrow, plow, and through. Well done. And now you wish perhaps to learn of less familiar traps. Beware of herd, a dreadful word that looks like beard and sounds like bird. And dead, it's said like bed, not bead. For goodness sake, don't call it deed. Watch out for meat and great and threat. They rhyme with sweet and straight and debt. A moth is not a moth in mother, nor both in bother, broth in brother. And here is not a match for there nor dear and fear for bear and pear. And then there's does and rose and lose. Just look them up and goose and choose and cork and work and card and ward and font and front and work and sword and do and go and thwart and cart. Come, come, I've already made a start. Let's face it, English is a crazy language. There is no egg in eggplant or ham in hamburger, neither apple nor pine in pineapple. We take English for granted, but if we explore its paradoxes, we find that quicksand can work slowly. <laughs> Boxing rings are square. And a guinea pig is neither from Guinea, nor is it a pig. And why is it that writers write, but fingers don't thing, grocers don't gross, and hammers don't ham? If the plural of tooth is teeth, why isn't the plural of booth, beef? One goose, two geese, so one moose, two meese. One index, two indices. Is cheese the plural of choose? If teachers taught, why didn't preachers prot? <laughs> if a vegetarian eats vegetables, what does a humanitarian eat? <laughs> In what language do people recite at a play and play at a recital? <laughs> ship by truck and send cargo by ship, have noses that run and feet that smell, park on driveways and drive on parkways? How can a slim chance and a fat chance be the same while a wise man and a wise guy are opposites? How can the weather be hot as hell one day and cold as hell the next day? <laughs> when the stars are out, they are visible. But when the lights are out, they are invisible. <laughs> and why, when I wind up my watch, I start it. But when I wind up this essay, I end it. I've been collecting a few gems for you. Here are some signs and notices written in English in many parts of the world. In a Tokyo hotel. Is forbidden to steal hotel towels, please. <laughs> if you are not a person to do such a thing, please not to need notice. In a Bucharest hotel lobby, the lift is being fixed for the next day. During that time, we regret that you will be unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And here is one in a Yugoslav, Yugoslavian hotel. The flattening of underwear with pleasure is the job of the chambermaid. <laughs> In a Japanese hotel, you are invited to take advantage of the chambermaid. <laughs> In a Budapest zoo, please do not feed the animals. If you have any suitable food, give it to the guard on duty. <laughs> And in an Acapulco hotel, The manager has personally passed all the water served here. <laughs> Outside a Hong Kong tailor shop, ladies may have a fit upstairs. <laughs> In a Rhodes tailor shop, Order your summer suit. Because it's big rush, we will execute customers in strict rotation. <laughs> My favorite one in a Zurich hotel. Because of the impropriety of entertaining guests of the opposite sex in the bedroom, it is suggested that the lobby be used for this purpose. 